We are back. We have 42 families from 24 states with 13 different diagnoses. We are so excited to be partnering with Kendra and her team to be able to have the largest retreat we've ever had before. 3.7 million children in the United States alone face the loss of a parent before the age of 18. That statistic is staggering. The need is great. These are kids who are in desperate need of a community of people who get it, and that is what Inheritance of Hope wants to step into and walk alongside these families in this time of crisis. Inheritance of Hope is such an amazing organization, and what I love about it is that it's giving a legacy to families who are facing a terminal illness for their parent. This retreat just gives them some joy. It gives them an opportunity to make memories with their families. Our partnership with Inheritance of Hope has grown so much over the course of the last five years. It seems like only yesterday when we were here and we were only serving 10 families, and then the next year we served 20, and now we're here five years later serving over 42 families. And one thing that's so special about this retreat is we are serving families with all terminal illnesses. Historically, we've served families with metastatic breast cancer, but it was so important for us to continue to strengthen and expand our relationship. It gives us the opportunity to bring so much joy to so many more families. This retreat in particular is incredibly unique because we have been waiting to serve these families for the last two years. Inheritance of Hope has served families really well through the pandemic. We have eight different offerings now where before we only did the one legacy retreat and now we're able to really meet people where they're at from the comfort of their home. Our family was scheduled for this Inheritance of Hope retreat um, and unfortunately COVID uh, showed up. So there was this quick pivot to Hope at Home and provided me an opportunity to let the kids connect with other kids going through tough times and to have support from other folks was just hugely beneficial. This retreat, we are integrating a new component called the Gold Families, and these are families who have lost someone already. We're having an opportunity for them to gather with other widows and widowers and being able to share what it's like to be in this position. Well, first of all, it's, it's very soon, but the fact that my younger son has an opportunity to kind of decompress and the group sessions, I think, have helped quite a bit. Uh, my 20 year old was opening up and uh, that's a huge surprise because he was very, very close to his mother. So it means the world to us, uh, the, the world. I, I can't even put it into words, to be honest with you. The other 32 families are our Ruby families and they are coming with a diagnosed parent and a caregiver and kiddos. This is terrifically meaningful to have this opportunity for the family. I think the worry for a lot of dads is how do I go to that vulnerable place? But to allow that legacy building to come alongside just family fun allows that to feel more natural. So I think it's a, just a terrific sort of facilitation effort for dads to think more deliberately. And of course, for me to be with the kids, to me to be with my boys uh, on this experience is awesome. Kinder Scott stands for family, fashion, and philanthropy. And Inheritance of Hope is all about family and in partnering with Inheritance of Hope, we get to do everything. We're serving families, but we're also serving the individuals. We're providing counseling. We're helping them leave a legacy, but we're bringing them joy. It is amazing to be back in person. It makes me very emotional because being able to hug some of these families that we have gotten to know over the last couple of years via Zoom and to see them in person to be able to actually push a wheelchair and hold a backpack and play with kids and take off some of that physical stress that these families feel day in and day out. And then on top of that, to be able to give them this amazing time to connect together with a family, going through the parks and being able to have a parent's night to connect with one another. It's a gift and it's a blessing. It's a joy to do it. The volunteers are incredible. That ability for volunteers to step up so that me and my wife could really give ourselves over to kind of the group therapy sessions all in. It's just terrifically meaningful to us. One of the volunteers now has a handshake that he created with each of our three boys. I would tell you, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Luke is amazing. He has been amazing. My son absolutely loves him. He was talking about him all night when we got to the hotel and was looking forward to seeing him this morning. He's formed a bond with him, wanted to sit with him on every single ride. We love Kendra Scott. 
We are so thankful for her partnership. We are bigger, we are better, we are able to serve so many more families because of what Kendra and her team have brought to us. The way that Inheritance of Hope touches families' lives and creates joy in a really dark place, I think that syncs up really well to what we do as an organization and we can really help touch families on a one-to-one -one basis. It's a wonderful organization and we're just so proud to be a part of it. This is something that I want to be a part of the rest of my life. I, I'd be willing to volunteer. I would, I would do anything. I mean, the, the things that you guys have done for our family is, are just without words. W without words. Absolutely. My heart can explode with gratitude and love. Thank you, Kitchen Scott. Thank you, Inheritance of Hope.